Yes, sir. What is going on, Bullish family? Welcome back to the channel. I couldn't give more appreciation to y'all. We actually smashed through a thousand subs this weekend. So I love that y'all are enjoying the content. Um, and this is going to be a little special stream. Uh, I hadn't planned on dropping a weekly analysis for, you know, this week coming up right now. Um, I'm in the works of really getting a couple things together. I know everybody's asking for a, a public telegram group, uh, more of a daily mentorship program. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be best for me to go ahead and balance the current students that I have uh, for a daily mentorship program and you guys as well. You know, again, if you guys are looking to get a little bit more access to smart money every single day. All you gotta do is shoot me over an email. We can talk more about your goals. Um, and I would really love to, you know, help you be a part of what I am, uh, you know, outside of even this platform and YouTube, right? So today, right, got a special stream. Um, it's funny because I would say from one of my students, but at the end of the day, we're learning a lot from each other. You know, I'm showing him a lot when it comes to institution smart money. Um, on an intraday basis. And this is an actually an individual that's been trading since the 90s. So he helps me seem the bigger, the bigger picture, the bigger time frames, um, And we're just bouncing ideas off of each other. So this stream is full, jam packed of questions. It is really long. Uh, so make sure you got a notebook. Um, and make sure you're taking notes on these questions and everything that we're going through. Um, I'm not sure you know when the next confirmation series video is going to be it's going to be over liquidity. Uh, but this is going to go ahead and skip over that confirmation checklist series. And I just wanted to, you know, kind of give you guys a, a gratitude post here. Um, thank you so much. Continue to blow up the two imbalance videos. I hope that's helping you guys uh, really seek out, um, you know, where the big players want to go ahead and reprice. So we can go ahead and either catch that continuation trend or continue looking for those areas of accumulation and distribution that we can go ahead and play into. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get over to the video that was recorded earlier, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. And they could be on their way to that. Exactly. And Very that's, and that's, and then they're giving us all the signs that they want to go ahead and move up into that 1.4 price. 1. Because 4. right here, there's really nothing. There's orders that they want, but they still have to, this is the beginning and this is the end, or this is the beginning of the new move. So this is really just the middle. Exactly. And again, with, you know, the way the dollar's looking as well. Um, yeah, yeah, right. It was know, looking everything weak. is looking very nice for us to go ahead and see that bullish retracement start happening, especially with last month's candle closing like that. Now, so, what this also can tell me is this, even though we are bullish, this is an area that we can have a, a retracement or a pullback from. Yes, absolutely. If we wanted to go ahead and, you know, maybe even run up and make an equal high with that last white candle right there, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Even if we wanted to make an equal high there and fall off for a little bit and then continue up this month, we really just want to be positioning ourselves for somewhere in a buy position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's how I, I, I get. So you get that. And then let's say I do that. And then I say, I want to, when I look, I'm trying to go through it. Like I'm looking at every chart. You know Perfect. I mean? like so i could get comfortable because what i did was i started i follow he goes over this one but it's from december so I, I, i'm watching it but then i do i always do this to myself i think okay i got this and then i go start looking at a pair like pound odd and then all of a sudden i get lost right <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just like it doesn't make sense anymore no nah, so, for sure um so let's let's look at the weekly now yeah, Which so now I'm saying to myself, okay, we're we're looking bullish, uh, but we could be at at we need to look for places to get in, right? Exactly. All right, because the weekly then shows us. So uh, yeah, uh, go ahead. Well, no, I you know um, what do I see now? I see more of a double top right here. So, uh, and I and I see that if we want to get there, we've got to come down to get up. Perfect. So yeah, what I was going to say is let's just go ahead and focus in on the range that we know the market's going to play. We will, let's go focus in on that 1.3, five right here to here. Yeah. For the most part, but we can go even up to the side. So just scroll in a little bit so we can really see those candles. Yeah. Just something like that. Perfect. Cause again, we understand if price is at 1.30 right now, we're 500 pips away from those highs. So yeah, looking right. in here, you know, you're exactly correct. Right, we have tons. And actually, of we made equal highs right here. Yep. So that's even more kind of relevant. 
right? Exactly. Okay. So that what does that tells me that that's a perfect re temporary reversal retracement area or something? Yeah. Well, so I mean, we've already seen there's probably been multiple days, um, you know, retracing. Which again, over the last two weeks, we've been moving up into that 132 price. So they've given multiple days of retracements off of that. We just ultimately know, hey, we, uh, you know, we were bullish on the monthly. And now as we go down to the weekly, we're creating more bullish liquidity. We'll create more bullish liquidity. Even though if we look at the sequence, so we made a lower low and we made an equal high. We, we took out this high though. So would we, we say we're bullish on the weekly? Um, I would say yes, bullish on the weekly and ultimately, but you know what I mean? Once we do run these highs of the yellow line, mm -hmm. we would want to see that break of structure from that white candle. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as far as the sequence, we could say that, but it really is kind of a sideways. It actually could be down too, because we're still in this range right here. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, is is there still open imbalance inside of those weekly candles right there and Huge. up to that last down move to the very mm -hmm. last down move right here no nah, march and april mm -hmm. so i just want to go over oh, yeah so these, over yeah so just this so like so based on this right down you know sell to buy they didn't retrace deep into this area not at all so it's like if it doesn't go create a new high over 1.35 we're coming back. It could it could come back and 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 run a deeper retracement, but and all that would be doing is maybe it doesn't mean we'd be going down, right? I mean, I mean, yeah, it's a big move down, but we could be getting ready for the back, move higher through. Exactly. Though. Now, I don't think the chances of that happening are likely. Yeah, right. But we can see on a weekly that we've left a lot of price down there, but yeah, that's perfectly yeah. fine. I'm more focused on, right the the you know where we're at right now right the price is between 132 and 128 so 32 and 128 okay right here whatever it is yeah so this we'll focus is. understanding you know we're bullish and we're going to focus in on this price to hey if we do get some kind of retracement where's our best areas to get in okay so now we we take a look now at the dick so now we're still not looking for uh really entries when we're doing the monthly weekly daily we, we don't look for that really until we get down to the the uh, four hour and hourly yeah i mean for me personally again because like if i'm going to take an entry off the daily you know i'm not using a 15 to 30 pip stop right and, right no i know i'm just saying for me i, I used to take that daily four hour only i i'm really you getting see it. so like go go back to the weekly real quick you can see it play out like we played off a weekly sell candle. So scroll back in here. So it's like, look at that, dr the drive down that pushed the lowest lows, right? Yeah. Look at that last up candle before that down. Before the down. Yep. Right there. So look at the open of that candle. Look how we came and played it for yeah, 600, right 600 pips. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? So, um. You know, you could take an entry off the open of that weekly candle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could. I don't. But I, I'm just. I'm just. I, it's. It's like last week. I, I spent time on the five minute and the fifteen minute. I Perfect. like it, but it's hard on the eyes and, and the time, and, and it's a little different. So I'm getting used to it. That's why I want to narrow down my routine so that I don't have to get down to the fifteen minute until it's in a zone that I want. Exactly. And you that's the only mean? time you should be going down into a smaller time frame. Okay, good, good. That's what I thought. So, okay, so now we, we went to the daily. And we're like, okay, we're, we got this going on here. Um, okay. Higher highs, higher lows. We actually have a higher high, but we're in with this range. Mm -hmm. And we have, we're still, we haven't really broken structure. Well, we broke structure here but we're within this up structure still, right? Yeah. So what I would say is, you know, again, are we, are we continuing to make higher highs and higher lows? We are right now. If there was an area that price would want to retrace down to on a daily though, what would be like a next? I would have to say 25.90. Cool. So that is, there's, I see one a little bit higher. 
Well, I do too, but uh, to start my I wants to say daily, where's the last down candle before the up Which move, is perfect. Right? Which so is I'm perfect here, because the market and then I can absolutely move could have that deep retracement. But if it maybe we're only want to do maybe 50% or a little bit more than half that retracement, I would probably look, there's one imbalance that catches my eye with inside that uptrend. This, uh, don't tell me. This came in this one or this one? That's the one. Yep. That's the one I'm looking at. And again, I'm just thinking uh, like if we look at the candle being made right now for this day, right? Yeah. When I look at all previous candles to the left, I see that the wicks have retraced back into the bodies each and every single day, right? Okay. Before, until 726, which should be that white daily candle with imbalance. Right. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 28, whatever. Okay, now what I was thinking and what I was trying to tell myself today when I was at the gym was that when I look at this on the daily, this would make me want to go down to the four hour to look for a zone. Absolutely. Because I would say this was straight bullishness and th this is so far away. I'd want to look for a zone sooner. So I would say, let's go to look and see what we can come up with on the four hour. Exactly. Now, and again, you know, yet it completely yes. And there, another reason why we would do that is because that imbalance zone that we pointed out is still 200 plus pips away. Yeah, 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 yeah. So exactly. it's like, that's, what, that's what my eye was saying. But, you so know, we know it's there. Exactly. We know now. But it's going to show up differently on the four hour. Exactly. Or it'll show up more on the four hour. Before we go to the four hour, though, I okay. do want you to go look at the prices above 1.32, though, just to break this down a little bit more as well. Okay. Because we understand, you know, we understand we are very bullish, but where could be, you know, we, we were on the weekly and the monthly saying, okay. hey, we could just equal out highs on that last white candle right there. Right here. Um, well, we've already equaled those ones. So let's go to the this big, one? big one, even uh -huh. a little bit higher. Yeah. So we were talking about ultimately we could equal these out, but is there an area below here that we could see a sooner retracement? Now there's that little area right there, right? Yeah. So there's that yeah. little, other than that, all those buy to sell candles are clean. So again, like once we start pushing through, there's no stopping. Right, right. I just, I just grasped that with the, in the rock video where he's talking Perfect. about, uh, and I wanted to touch on that just to get the terms clearer. When he's, you guys are talking about healthy price action. That actually is choppy price action. What they used to refer to, at least where I come, is choppy price action, meaning it's all retraced into. That's that's clean. So yeah, te te the reason why, yeah. They so close their orders and shit. That's right. So I, I just say that. So between twelve thirty, twelve dash thirty, and you don't and have you don't get, you Can got you a mark. Can you get a? Yeah, you. You might oh, be. I able just to stopped my share. No, it's good. Do you, if uh, you have an annotate an annotate tool on your end, it should let me. And yeah, it's actually not in my settings on my end, but if it's on the settings on your end, we'll be good. Yeah, I have it. Cool. Yeah, just allow me to annotate. So draw. Okay, there's the tool. How do I allow you? Hmm. I'm not sure because I can't see it on my end. Okay. But it's 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 okay. okay I so mean. So Either right, way, so say it again. Say it. Let's yeah. Go. So like twelve twenty eight. Well, over here, and just write a structure. So from there, yep, all the way until that three dash eight candle. Right here. Okay, perfect. So well, you don't have to dive in there, but just walk with me. Go back to the front of the structure. Go back to what? Uh, go back to the twelve twenty eight candle. Right here. Right. So well, the reason why I call this healthy price action. Is because okay. we see the institutional candles going to work. We see the move down, yeah, right? Yeah. So we move down and on this push back up. So you can br bring that whole move down all the way down. And now this oh. move back up gives us two very bullish candles and then a move yeah. back down. Yeah. Right. So 
we had that engulfing red candle over those two days of bullish candles. Oh, and here we didn't need, we only came up to here and then finally they came back to it. Exactly. So it's like, it's so all it's tied up. Yeah. So it's just like, I, I call it's that buttoned cool. up. Yeah. It's just healthy because yeah. All of that is retraced back into. That's why once we break above 132, yeah, I'm not looking good. for another area till like again. <laughs> yeah, like because everything's already been retraced, and that's the it, that goes for the same for current price action, right? That's why we don't have an imbalance till 128.50 because all of this is healthy, clean. Yeah, so it retrace back in. Exactly. Retrace, retrace. So here we got 128. Basically, this support area exactly that we broke but yeah i just wanted to you know walk through those prices on a psychological level above 132 and as to why like we're just so bullish <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, i mean yeah yeah um and that's how you tell if a low is going to be breaking or not broken or not whether if that price action in that structure is healthy just right? like right there you see two very nice buy to sell candles I see two by the cell right here. So yeah, right uh, there. And then to the right, they do it. Yeah. Again. Yeah. And, and then, then they, they bring come it back through down. and they take out these lows. Exactly. So, you know, again, do I, do I, Oh, know? and here, 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 see, is this mean that, so this is kind of healthy right in here, though. There's nothing to stop it. Yeah. So they've, it's... they've retraced. Yeah. They've retraced back in, but, um, okay. you know, when it comes to like, the breaking of structures and, and all of that, you know, I never really know where it's going to stop. You know what I mean? Like we could kind of figure out based on other, you know, past structure where it's going to stop, but either way, like we should just be targeting those equal lows and at least be going breaky, breaking, even taking profits. And if it continues to drop, you know, we pretty much let it do its thing. If that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. 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 For sure. Too. Cool. Okay. So, so that's our daily outlook then, right? We, we, um, so we basically just do the same. Now, do I keep, now each time we move the, the, the institute, there's a new institution candle, um, meaning, so right here I had marked this earlier, this mm -hmm. candle being the last yep. 126. Uh, again, that's still far away. Um, but is that how, when I go down, I can keep, Okay, if I miss the 15 minute entry and I want to go up to the hourly to get the new institution set up, it's going to be higher than the 15 minute entry, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, you would be, you know, maybe putting on a little bit more risk or whatever it may be. But, you know, again, you're going to see where a lot of these areas you know, map up, maybe the open of that daily candle at 126 is actually the open of the four hour candle as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right. Let's check. So it's kind of cool when it happens like that, yeah, um, yeah. but it's, it's a little different for every chart to be honest. Um, I see what you're saying. Uh, so yeah, let's dive uh, in. Who knew these charts were so like put together like that. It looks so random, you, you know, even to the, you know, to just looking at it until you start able to see how they all match up, all the mm -hmm. and closes, it's pretty cool. Um, okay, so now when I come to the four hour, now I see some areas. Exactly. Uh, uh, a little different. So I had this, this area, but we've already come into it. And this would be considered an IC candle, right? Yeah, I mean, we went up and tried to trade above the highs, and we ultimately did, but did, yeah. nothing too crazy. So that tells us what they created that um, pool. They're definitely going to come back to go back for it. Yeah, what that okay. tells me is that, like, I wouldn't see that as a clean, clean institutional up before it down. That's just kind of like get up there and hang out, and we yeah. just have to retrace type thing. Right, right. They're going to let retail come in and sell they're going to let orders get up here and they're go and now we're looking so at this stage we're looking for areas to look for the, the uh you know to get back in to jump in so if this area doesn't hold okay um for a buy because it could easily come back up right before it comes back down it it could we could find some smaller time frame uh you know places to move up but I want to go back to what you just said too. So, 
you know, could we get another play off this zone, off that imbalance zone? We could, but we don't want to because it already played once. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And so, we yeah, actually, so we're saying, yeah. Yeah. And we right. actually see that, you know, on Friday, we actually came and played a little deeper than the 50% of that red candle. Well, and here's this huge, uh, what do you, it's the imbalance right here, right? Exactly. So, well, not only an imbalance, but if we were to mark up the 50% of that red candle, yeah, right? right here. It would literally be, you know, we pretty much played and gave pips on that on Friday. Right. And we didn't really move. It had, it, no, it had no bounce. So we should yeah. come through that. It, now, exactly. what do I look at then? What, what, what draws my eye to another area that would be strong? Like where they reached furthest? Is that that's, what I want to look for? That's like, a great way. That's an amazing way to put it. Right, because we could look, we could look at these two imbalance zones that you just kind of skimmed over, right? We kind of have two. We have a small one there, but then we have the one below it. So, right. which one do we want to look for? Right. And I honestly love the way you just said that—the one that kind of reached down further. That is a cleaner sell to buy candle than the one above and it. And these, right? These and are really nothing. Anything we could take deeper in a retracement is better. Yeah, because I'm thinking if I'm them, I use more money to get this tr trade going from here than right here. That was just a continuation by that that middle part. Yeah, so this so, would be a, an area where I might say, okay. What? Any, yeah, anybody, what you should do, go ahead and mark up the open of that red candle. Mark the open of the red candle. Okay. Opened right there. So now we're sitting right there at 20, 2880, which is perfect. 80s yeah. and 20s levels, people love them. And what uh, lies right above that four hour institutional is an imbalance. Right. So, you know, 2900 is now a short, you know, a lower time frame focus point for us. Yeah, look at this too. The 270 comes right here. Because cool. you got it, we got one. We got to get a two and then we got to get a three. Mm -hmm. One, two. This could be a, a full pattern, but we need one more move down. One, two, three. So it looks like we should come into this area and then who knows where. It can, where yeah. It can. So we could, you know, again, we could even get a 50 pip rejection off that middle imbalance area. You know what? Right I, we here. could get um, to the left of that. This little area. Yep. Right there. So it's like yeah. we could even still get rejection off those candles, but just on a, a bigger a bigger hindsight that oh, it's a cleaner institutional setup on the 2880 candle that we marked up now this wouldn't be the kind of zone that that you pending order it i i mean i know you i know you do i personally don't pending order uh almost well i'm i'm, I'm seeing i'm saying that because it would make sense if this was a, a more of an accumulation if it went Perfect. down here and went into accumulation Mm -hmm. for 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 three days or whatever you could maybe I, you could throw them in but but these aren't really you know these could come through these zones pretty easily so it'd be pretty risky to do a pending order Is exactly you so know? you're i, I want to you're you're completely right you know you're you're right on the que on the question that you asked um you know they're not the best because we're not in that key accumulation or distribution area we're just trying to catch this for a continuation and ultimately this would be a really sexy zone. Yeah, that that was, I mean, that was some of the best plays to go ahead and catch that up move. Now, again, does the market, we've already discussed this on the bigger time frames, does the market need to go down there? Absolutely not. But if we do revisit it, you know, we're either going to be go. where we go, right? If we come through these, we're going come, there. We're yeah, going there. exactly. And that's basically what we do now. We just kind of watch and see what kind of price action is at these zones. And, and that's all it is. And think about it. So if we were to enter, go ahead and put a red line, you know, where our stop would be if we entered at 2880. Because okay. now this is the other cool thing. So now as we go down, if let's put it right underneath the low. Nope, okay. the previous, that white candle. Yeah, put it under that wick. Right. So if we were to take this based off a four hour time frame. Okay. What, and I'm going to wait till we, I can see the price. Okay. Um, I don't know where your line went, but you accidentally did the open one. Right there. 
So yeah, you I want that one as a stop loss, but go ahead and put the open put put a line at twenty eight eighty as well. Oh you see yeah, you see yeah. what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. So yeah, so technically if we were to take this trade, right, we would be buying at twenty eight eighty. And then what's that red line at? 28, 28, 40. 30, 30, 28, 40. Yeah. So it'd be a 40 pip stop loss. Right. So, yeah. which is perfect, right. For a four hour, that's exactly what you'd want to be looking for, for a stop loss. But right. now as we break into a smaller time frame, we'll be able to, you know, either lower our entry or upper our stop loss into something. And Hey, if it breaks through that stop loss, perfect. Let's ride it down to 127 and see what happens. So you necessarily, though, I don't need to be going down to the 15 minute to watch this. No, if you it, wanted, unless I wanted to take a sell trade from up here. Yeah, it just depends on what, yeah, on, on what you're looking for. You know what I mean? Like, again, yeah. like you could easily place a buy limit at 2880 and probably cash 80 pips because it'll probably blow through, you know, some of that area. You know, I'm just kind of talking, but yeah, you're back you know, up in also good. Okay, so we mark this area out then, and then we go to the hourly. Cool, so now we'll definitely be able to really see what you we need more screen or is this good? Nope, this is good. Okay, so now let's see what we have here. We have the new hot, we have, so we, we didn't break structure on the up move on the hourly, right? Because we're still in this range. Well, we, we opened the range up, but. Yeah, so we made a higher range. high. And yeah. as it sits right now, we haven't made a lower low. Right. Okay. That's what I was getting at. Okay. Perfect. Um, so would we, could we, once it starts going like this, and this looks clean, does it not? No, right. That Except little area right, right here. there. That, so that's this. clean, but even before that, go back up to where you just were. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Left, 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 left. Left. Right there. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, left yeah, like yeah. two more candles. You were skimming over, but yeah, that's clean. There was a nice little up, a fat down, a, a little retracement off of 3150, and we fell back off. Um, we came back on. So ultimately, like, so we could, it, it, if it wants to come further, it should retrace up into here, 3077. Yeah, as it's looking right now, I'm definitely looking to take a sell entry at 3080. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was just going to say that. At the, at the <laughs> so, screen, yeah. so let's do this, right? Let's go ahead and mark the open of that hour candle. Do you mark? Okay, there. Oh. So there's actually three different areas that you can enter on. Yeah, the wick, the, the open, open, or the 50%. 50%. Go ahead and mark up the 50% as well. Perfect. Let's say that's it. Um, okay, cool. so we're Just, looking. Uh, so, so right now we're counter trending on the hourly, looking to sell, hopefully down to the twenty eight eighty area. Yes, but you know now I am, you know, not really second my guessing myself, but I'm going to need a lot more confirmations to take this sell because if the dollar's looking bearish. And we are literally currently still making a higher low. We right. don't want to go too all in on that sell, but yeah, it is still right. looking good. Because it still could come up, come down, come back to this level. Yeah, it good. could. Ultimately, we're still bullish, right? We don't want to, we don't want right. to, you know, hurt our, hurt ourselves too much. And, and that's what I'm trying to get the discipline now to, to stay with my bias, right? My too many times I get in trades you know, in the wrong space against the trend. Matter yeah. of fact, all, all the time. And I, I get waxed. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, we all. I, I, I just do. And I don't move my stop. And, and it's just really annoying. But so I need to get, I want to get like discipline like that, where at least I know from the, like what we just talked through, that my main focus is to buy this thing. Yeah, you know, absolutely. If I miss the sell, it's not a big deal. Exactly. That and that that's a that's the exact way to put it. You know what I mean? Like on an intraday level, if I'm really looking for the sell, I can find one. But if it doesn't happen, then it's like perfect. Let it fall down and we're gonna take right. our high probability buy entry. Yeah, yeah. The way you can go a little heavier on. Exactly. Exactly. But so so now 
so let's just one more time lower. Okay, so since so we did all that markup basically on the four hour. And now we, we, we don't really need to mark anything else up, right? Once I get to the hourly, other I mean, than if, if I'm looking for the, the short term. Movement. Yeah, I mean, if it's, yeah, if it's similar, which it is, and we're going to talk about it a little bit more, then no, we don't really need to mark up anything different. Again, um, I know my double highs are up here. Uh, so I know they're, my mind is saying in the sequence, we should be going back to attack that one more time. Exactly. Um, and then yeah. I've got these zones to look at for price action to get it. And now when I get in these zones, I'm looking for the, that setup of, uh, making, making equal lows. And then an go grab, table. go grab your brush for me. I wish I could in it's annotate. I, I wish you to the next time we do that. I'll say, I get my annotation works on your end for some reason. Cause when I do my kid, when I train with my other kid, uh -huh. I can, he takes the pen from me. So you know what I'm saying? It. I'll just send you the Zoom link, and then we'll try it that way. I, I gotta fit. I gotta figure out why it hasn't been letting me do it, reach because I used to have it, and then all these updates with Zoom. Um, uh, okay. But it's good. But what I was going is, you just want to see that evidence of reaccumulation down in that zone. Down. That's what you were just touching on, right there. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So I want to so see. Go ahead and draw out like this, and then the reaction, then a test. A move and then that. Yes, exactly. And then and then we get the, yes, move. that's exactly it. That's exactly. And then I can get either this this quick move down, or I can stay patient and wait for that play right here. Yeah, you can wait for any any retracements back down once we reaccumulate in that area. Yeah, that's, no, that's the fucking gold, and that's the most golden thing I've ever seen, bro. Ever. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> I, I dude, it just. It changes the game from what you're looking at once you're getting ready to enter these things. It's amazing. Uh, it's it's a, it's a, so I'm I, I'm just I'm shocked. Um, and okay, so the whole thing with Rock's video, why he said like once you hear this video, you'll be able to read any chart and say where it's going. Mm -hmm. And he was saying a lot about the range. Okay, so he's saying if we have this move this okay my liquidity is here and here mm -hmm. i'm assuming that granted they set this up that at some they're coming down to go back to attack this because we're in an upward range mm -hmm. is that how how so my my mind is is now, okay, so if there was a another move there, so then then you have this area, this area. My mind says, okay, I've got to come here to go here, but ultimately I'm bullish because of this range, the range I'm in. Yeah, it's just it's honestly it's just it helps us if they pull that market down below those lows and give us the opportunity on a discounted price. That's, you know, 70, 78, 88% retracement. Okay. You know what I mean? So like, is it, it's phenomenal when they give it to us and they give it to us a lot, but sometimes it doesn't happen. And that's why you, you just got to be cool with it and wait for the next setup. Cause literally the next setup is happening moments after on some pair somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> Um, now he said something that I found interesting. He said, there's three places to look at, right. For your trend to reversal. And, and that I wrote them down. That was, there was three important areas, right? Mitigation candle, the, in, the institutional candle, and then the major higher law. Candle are different. I just see the mitigation candle as a new institutional. Yeah, candle. yeah, yeah. No, I, okay, I, that's perfect. how I was seeing it before. That's why I'm trying to separate it now. All right, right, cool. I see so this as that as the same way you do. Yeah, I get that. Perfect. That's but why I, I guess that's see, why I was confusing. if I didn't grasp that, I would get I could get smoked on this. And what I liked about what he was saying was that now I know where the next place to look is. If this doesn't hold, I can know the origin of that move. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, okay, man. Fucking cool, dude. Um now, so when your eye looks at this right off the bat, let's say you just pulled this out mm -hmm. today and you're, you're going to say to yourself, 
what are you saying to yourself? How are you, how are you talking yourself through this? Perfect. So yeah, you know, we obviously understand that these hot, you know, Take we your do, chart out. You can share your chart. Now, all right. So all right, cool. Yeah, this is, this is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put my own. Oh, let me, do I have to hit something? No, it's good. It actually, let me take over right away. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mark up the same exact areas. Not the two hour. All right, cool. walk me through this. Let's get it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just mark up the areas that we already talked about on your chart, right? So let's mark up 2880. All right, let's go ahead and mark off the stop for 2880, which we said was going to be 2840. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, we also, you know, I talked about the short term possibilities right here. If that wants to exist below this low, I mean, mm -hmm. we know that. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it on mine. I have a. I, I, I'm gonna move my thing down. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good area because it's right below that that last candle. All right. Okay. So we can see, you know, again, they all these imbalances were created on the way up, right? Money move up, retracement. Money move up, retracement. Money move up. And that says they left orders open. Yeah, so these are just, you know, areas that didn't get retraced back into. Now, overall, mm -hmm. they got what they needed, right? Because they, yeah, yeah. Because it's they like here, them. they had all these lows, and as long as they swept the lows, they were good with it. They were good with only the, you know, whatever deep retracement this is, right? They were good with the 70% retracement because mm -hmm. it still took orders. But either way, right? Like, can you buy at the 50% of every single of these imbalances? You can, as long as you throw a stop underneath the low, right? It may not be the last one till it pans out, but yeah, mm -hmm. overall look in here. Okay. One more question. I remember hearing, uh, and he said, if, if on, on, on either time frame, if the candle closes below the 50% level, it's going to, it's, it's not, it's not going to work. It's going to keep going. You want to see, you want to see absolute rejection off of these. So things. you want to see it go, it can go through 50%, but you want to see it close above 50%. On yeah. Whatever time and not, yeah. And I actually don't touch, I, 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 that's something that I don't talk about a lot is like the mm -hmm. close it's kinda, it's kinda, of the candles. Yeah. I um, like it. But no, I love it too. You know, it's just something that, you know, I just got to work more into, you know, my own, my own stuff as because well. Because that's telling me if I'm on the 15 minute even and we get a close below the 50%, there's a good chance it's going to pull out, but it's going to drop and take out the low before it goes back up. Exactly. Okay. So cool. So going back to your question, if I open up this hour chart, what am I looking at? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I already looked at the downside targets. We mapped out all three imbalances. Right. And even, you know, remember on an hour four, I told, we saw that this down candle had traded below the 50% of the 50% of it. Yeah. Now, when we look at the hour, it actually traded, you know, right above right. the 50%, whatever it may be. Uh -huh. So it's all, you know, it's all familiar. And we see that, you know, that it obviously had that rejection off the open of the candle. So again, are we continue to make higher lows? We are. So we can't be totally, you know, not understanding of the equal high. Now, if, if we come down and break this low and then go back up, where can we look for all out sales on the hourly? I mean, if it were to just, this is what would happen, right? It would come down, make an equal low here, pull back up. If it were to come break this. Yeah. But only come to here. It's still in the up move. It's still, I mean, it still could be in, you know, we would want to see some kind of fast, you know, rejection back to the upside. But, you know, I wouldn't, this would be the it's last. It's not in the downtrend, in other words. But, right, okay. Yeah, that would really just be the last area that, you know, we would look for for buying opportunities. Because um, it's still, this is the major low, that range low. Mm -hmm. Okay.
the overall range low. Now, again, yeah. if we want to catch it to the downside, you know, in here, there's no clean imbalance, right? Everything has retraced. This is clean, fluent price action. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what we touch on, right? Because yeah. when this initial yeah. move down happened, we created imbalance right here. What did yeah. they do? They came back up, closed below all of the imbalance, and then traded lower. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's no clean imbalance other than literally this isn't even it. Right. But we do see that last up candle. So on a smaller time frame, right, we could understand that, hey, you know, there could be an entry level here and a stop right here, which we had pulled up. And then we just want to see if it's three to one. If it's worth First, we want to see whether, you know, yeah, we want to look to see if it's three to one. And again, I also need evidence of redistribution. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I really yeah. need that evidence of redistribution. Right. Yeah, so that's kind of a confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. All, all confirmations. And then also, you know, what's another small confirmation? 3100 is lying right around there. It's a little high, but it still would be a 10 pip stop from that high. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Either way, right. If we're going to trade lower below this, we're going to come here into 2970. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we were to take this trade, even from here, you'd be risking 32. Right, where's the three to one? Literally lines right up before that mm -hmm. imbalance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, so that would be, you know, that would be a decent trade for us to look at. Now, can we maybe, you know, cut down the risk? Right, what if we were right, to right. Go enter, have, have, you know, maybe if we just wanted to target this low or something, you know what I mean? So now I would just go down to that smaller time frame and see if we could break down this institutional candle down further. Mm -hmm. And then also uh -oh. what we're going to keep an eye on is how this structure breaks down on a smaller time frame as well. Because we even see here, right, equal lows, run the lows, trade up. What do we do? Trade back down on the open of the institutional down candle and then trade it up. Mm -hmm. Staircase. So, yeah, let's go down to the 15 and see what's up here. So we'll look to the upside first. Right. We had a great, so, you know, so now do you move your line up to the last candle when you go to the 15? So, yeah, we definitely, we definitely can. And we're going to touch on that. We're going to touch on that. Oh, okay. So now instead of having that hour buy candle, I've knocked it down to three 15 minute candles. Right. And then we also understand that we now have an imbalance on the 15 minute time frame that we didn't have. Mm -hmm. Big one looks like. Yeah, a pretty a, a pretty big one. Where well, I'm just gonna go to this candle here, mm -hmm. so somewhere right here. Okay. Right now, also you know you can go ahead and mark off those other areas that you could enter at. Right, it could be the fifty percent of this imbalance. No, undo that. That's not what I wanted to change. Mm -hmm. Or ultimately we could be looking for the open yeah, right, that's what I was looking at. of that candle. That's also the top of the imbalance. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. What happened down here? We had the sell to buy. We left imbalance to come play into. We're making right now. Again, we're just Asian session consolidation. We're hanging out mm -hmm. now before we dive deeper into there, let's just dissect this a little bit. Right. What do we see here? There actually is still open imbalance here as well. Now, again, does it need to be played? It absolutely does not. Does, is it funny that it's right here at the whole level of the major whole level of 1.3 thousand? It is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's what not do you mean a, does it need to be played? Does it need to test it or, or bounce off it or anything? It doesn't need to. It pretty much right already did. Yeah, okay. Right, right. I'm right, just right. showing, I'm just kind of showing like how you could still be looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, we come down here. And right, what do you see in these imbalance areas? You know, they're just areas of manipulation, right? We had to buy, to sell, to buy. But also, so you put your zone in there, and then you your dotted line is your fifty percent area. Yeah, it's actually it's actually a, a feature you could do middle. Oh, oh, wow! On the parallel channel, it actually already marks it up for me. Uh huh. Oh, cool. But, but yeah, this is all good. So ultimately, again, like I'm bullish. Um, so I can't take that out of question and I haven't looked at the dollar index or anything yet. Right. But 
if we wanted to take a cell position, you know, somewhere on here, we could go down to the five minute. We understand that. In the five minute, you can even look higher then, right? Yeah, exactly. We understand that we got all these highs right here. Right, so now what is matching up? Well, this was the open of the 15. And I also see that it's pretty much the open of the five, that last run up, yeah. right? I also see between these two entries, we have that major imbalance zone, right? Yeah. So, yeah. and then also this is right above the 50% of the imbalance. So now I could take a short position and say we were to enter at the blue line right now we would be risking you know 25 and i'm probably targeting just these is going to be that two that three to one mm -hmm. yeah yeah no it's i last week i actually i didn't tell you i took a one minute entry on, on the euro yen it was during the asian session it, it, it literally it was a five pip stop and um it didn't even go into drawdown. It didn't even go. It was sick, yeah. and, it, and it went forty pips. It's lit. I, yeah, it was. It was pretty cool. I mean, it was more of just. I was just testing things to see, see how it, how that works. But yeah, it works. No, these had these had a really clean play last week. Um, the Japanese, right? The Japanese pairs on EJ. We had this up candle down move. We came and played into the opens. And we're up candle. Wait, say that again. Okay, where's the up? Candle down move. So you so took that. You took this one. I didn't take it, but these. But you know, you were talking about EJ, so I was. I'm. I'm guessing yeah. that it probably looks similar. It did look very yeah similar. Yeah, exactly. And I just know that that it was like that on um, CAD J. But yeah, let's go. Oh, I guess I already had EJ in here somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, and then it actually shot up big time in the middle of the night. Um, but I had got out already before I went to bed. I got gotcha. you. Um, yeah, we probably had some kind of similar price action. But, you know, yeah, that's really what, you know, this is this is the only setup I'd really be looking at for GU tonight type thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if we were to take this down now, I mean, I also, you know, want to see what the dollar index would be doing. Right. So what they I was watching on one of their your guy Zach mm -hmm. and he was looking at that imbalance. This one right here. Above, above for it to still go above. Yeah, higher. for sure. Um, where is the imbalance? It was yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which would would fit with the down move before these things go up. Exactly. I don't know if that's a wick. I guess I'll have to see it on a smaller time frame. Yeah, it was a smaller one that he had it up on. No, I actually created that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, overall right now on the daily, um, you know, we've left a small gap right here actually in price on the daily time frame, which is key. Mm -hmm. Right here at 95.75. So... I'd be looking at for that. And then, you know, we also understand that, you know, that's also this last major area of resistance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And price just dropped from there, didn't get any retracements. So it's like if you were to take it from the last up candle to the down move, right? We'd be talking about that deep retracement. Mm -hmm. that we could see the dollar index get into. Um, so yeah, for now, right? Ultimately, yes, we're bearish. You know, yes, we've left equal lows here to get taken. But again, like they don't got to get taken right away. We've seen, you know, a nice daily candle here. Mm -hmm. So we would just want to continue to see how this looks on smaller time frames. Um, and again, it's really not the cleanest. I mean, we've created this money. Right. We have all these wicks here with this imbalance here. And then look at this, right? This area has that up candle down move. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's just marking up your areas as it looks right now, everything that's already been retraced into. Yes, we have a small imbalance here. Yes, we have a small one here, actually with a little gap right here. 
right? So if there was maybe some kind of pullback for the dollar index to continue back up, we'd have it there. And I'm just showing you like how quick I really like, you know, run through the charts. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, again, so like, again, it all matches up. Look, not only was this gap a gap back here, but what did they do? They sold the buy off of it on NFP, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, if they were to come pull the market back, right? What are we talking? 61 to 79% retracement, 50% of the institutional, right? So it like, it all makes sense. Yeah, no, everything is lining up. That's why I, I was thinking it could be a good week. I mean, it, uh, you know, again, could we move down here? We could, but it's like, if it's going to continue bullish for a little bit, come attack these highs, it doesn't need to. This was a great reference of candles for last week. You know what I mean? Like this is literally the NFP low. Like this could be, who knows? Like this could be the low of the month. We could just trade up. Right. You know what I mean? But um, uh, one more pop through since you can do it so quick to uh, G G A. All right. Because I just want to see if how I was looking at it because it looks like it's setting up, but I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to tell you whether you're right or wrong, but yeah, the markets, yeah. the markets will I let think us we're know. I'm seeing where, where we're, we're doing a lot, we're doing a lot of this, a uh, lot of the stuff we like to see. For sure, cool. So I don't really look at GA too much. If I do trade it, it's for the Austra it's because of the Australian dollar. Um, but as we see, so no. this is the monthly. So this now, is the monthly. I would look to the left down here, right? We had. So um, this is all pretty tied up, right? So, I mean, yeah, it's all pretty tied up. I mean, again, like, is this going to help me take trades this week? No, but I understand the power of the liquidity, the drive down. Yeah, that's I mean, the one uh, I was looking at. Right? Yeah. So, again, just what do I notice off rip? What are my eyes, you know, trained? And we broke at? this high right here, right, on this move. Look at the left. where it, And we broke these. So does that a structure break? this yeah i mean again we're talking monthly time frames i mean i'm oh, right, right right i'm not okay. really i mean i'm just not really the one to talk on monthly structure breaks yeah yeah no again it doesn't it's not really that important i mean i didn't realize it was the monthly okay no nah, but again like you know i mean again it's still you know super valid question you know what i mean like it's still you know pl you know painting the bias bearish the mm -hmm. The bearish bias. It'll get clearer when you go down. <laughs> yeah. It'll get clearer when you go down. Yeah, big facts. But again, like when I come under the monthly, just what do I understand? I see a good accumulation area. We saw money get back behind the move. We saw a nice deep retracement. Did it retrace all the imbalance? No, it didn't. Did mm -hmm. it get everything it needed? It absolutely did. With very clean and fluent sell to mm -hmm. buys, sell to buys, sell to buys, right? Sell to mm -hmm. buys, sell to buys. Right. So everything's been super, super clean throughout here. Really mm -hmm. no monthly imbalances. Everything's been traded into. Would right? you say it's bullish or just sideways or still bearish? Uh, I mean, technically, I would say bullish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would too. Okay. You know, you got your, I mean, again, like we say bullish, you got your trend line traders. They could get smacked this, this month. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. um, they even, again, like they could have got smacked. No, because I was looking at it saying on the month, on we last made month. a high. We made a higher low. Now we made, yeah, we, a made a, we made a lower high. So it's like, where are we doing? But again, like, what are we I'm just doing? not taking know. really, I'm just not doing much with this. But it's good. I was just coming to the monthly for reference. Yeah. No, I want to get, get in the habit of doing it. I mean, overall, right? Like, now when I'm on the weekly, I mean, I just see just like a whole bunch of just hanging out right here. Right. And what's below this, we got a nice imbalance right here. Mm -hmm. So it's like, again, bigger time frames. This is what I see. And look what lines up down here with this imbalance, a last push down before move up mm -hmm. right at a major half level of 6,500. No, that's way down there too. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's way down yeah. there. But again, like, you know, I, but so, and I looked at that and I said to myself, well, we got to go up before we go down there. There's no yeah, way we, we got that, that far from where it is. We got a lot of stuff going on here. So yeah, overall, I'm going to get off the higher time frames. <laughs> um, okay. Now, as we go no, to the that, daily. That was good to look at it though. That, that, no, because now again, like 
what I what I just you know back tested here on the monthly in 2011, we see on the daily right here again, right? We see the same accumulation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It's super powerful. So we already understand, right? I come to the daily. I don't need to be looking at any price below here, right? Mm -hmm. Because that was their fuck. Now, is the fuck you candle the same as the IC candle? Ex yep, same exact thing. There's 20 okay. different terms. Yeah, okay, okay. The candle that reduced the income of many. <laughs> <laughs> So we see we had the two lows, they took it out and they made a move up, broke structure, broke the high, made a new high. So yeah, well, not, equal lows. Not there. we made equal highs, yeah, right there. Yeah, either way, yeah, we, we made lows. We had the drive down below the lows. Right, we saw money get back up behind the move. Right, we do, you know, understand that there are areas down here of imbalance still, mm -hmm. which would be great if they went back to. Right, exactly. that's what I was thinking. Exactly, you know what I mean? Like that, the deeper we can catch anything on a retracement, the better. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, ultimately, what I would mark up, right, is I would keep an eye. I would keep an eye on the open of the institutional candle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because not only, you know, we do have an imbalance in here as well. And it's also okay. kind of that old, you know, area that acted as a resistance institutional candle drive through. Yeah, right, right. And everything. So just a lot of confluence in that area, a lot, a lot. you know, and then again, I, my eyes are just attracted to whole number, numbers. I know how you guys like to play it. Mm -hmm. 81 yeah yeah 8100 right there and so then 80s right below it there and 80s right below it so yeah so really nice you know action here when it comes to looking for higher areas this wick we're tracing to all imbalance so you know pretty much i would be looking at you know whether that's not what i want whether we would you know maybe look at this small little gap in price that happened here or whether we go look all the way up here. Because ultimately this thing is in a massive downtrend and it, it's gotta, I would think they'll get this money up in here before it goes back to the downside. Yeah, especially when we see the evidence of this clean accumulation in equal highs, man. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. daily, daily, I'm good. I'm good with this. I'm leaving it at this, right? I'm gonna go ahead go to four hour. and knock down to a four hour. And now again, Look how this, right? No, when I look left to here, no clean imbalance of play, no clean imbalance of play until we get to here. So I'm really not focused on anything to the upside. Right? Even here, right? Don't need to focus on anything because any plays that we would have had already mm -hmm. happened. Right mm -hmm. here. Okay. Right. Right. Now, you know, again, as we go down smaller time frames, you're always gonna find that you know, you're always gonna find more imbalance. Yeah, right there. But Indeed. we're just not. You know, we're not taking trades on this yet. We got to see more of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So look at this. This is what's powerful. This daily imbalance is a exact replica of a four hour imbalance. Mm -hmm. You see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's mm -hmm. powerful mm -hmm. when you don't got to change it. Mm -hmm. Right. And as we go through all this price action, right, everything has been retraced into, right? We had a move up, retracement wicks, move up, retracement mm -hmm. wicks, move up, retracement, right? So mm -hmm. the next area to focus on, you know, would be either, you know, inside of this sideways movement or ultimately this imbalance, or ultimately I would be looking, now I would take this. And that's inside the daily candle, right? The daily IC candle. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'd be looking, now I've taken that daily now I'm taking that daily institutional candle and reduced it. And if it doesn't play off here, now we're looking down there. Now I could literally just take this like down to this candle if I wanted mm -hmm. to. Yeah. Yeah. And that would be again, like 
I'm not trying to catch, you know, if, <laughs> let, let's catch some cells all the way down. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Stop trying to buy it here. Just let it get to here. Because right. uh, again, what did we see? You know, we saw the very nice rejection off of that. Yeah, no, that was beautiful. Beautiful. So, yeah, so that's all for the four hour. And again, we just, you know, the, the, the power of all these wicks just tells us that they've left a huge amount of money here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it's got to come down. I just, I want to look, uh, start marking. So, right you know, again, this is a great candle for us to focus on, mm -hmm. right? It came up and retraced into the imbalances that were stuck up here, right? Imbalance here. We came up, traded into it, no closes above it, right? Traded back below. So let's go ahead and break this candle down on a one hour. Okay. Let's peep the two hour. Okay. We still see just that nice bullish structure. Nothing crazy. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Mm -hmm. So again, same pool of money, right? So it's got a lot of room to go up there. Same, same pool of imbalance. And you're exactly right. It's got room to go up. Right now, overall, this was that initial up move, right? We've already given a rejection off the open of the higher time frame up move. You see that? We've given a rejection. Uh, okay. They already. Oh, oh, rejection on the other side. Yeah. So again, the, the start of this bullish, of this buy to sell. Yeah. Already got mitigated here. Uh-huh. So now, is now they came and they took it out. So now they came and they took it out because they got to retrace deeper into it, right? This is a, this could be that four hour sell. 82.20 for 80 pips, 80. whatever it may be. You know what I mean? But overall, yep. equaled out yep. lows. Now we're trading higher. So yes, is this imbalance so clean? Yeah. You know, if we're trading smart money, am I going to take a stop at 83.55? I'm not going to take a 100 pip stop, you know? So right. let's go ahead and say, mm -hmm. all right, this buy candle has pretty much been invalidated. As we look at all this, you know, let's focus in on here. Right now, what if we were to just go ahead and make the imbalance to pertain to this last institutional candle? Now look, <laughs> I love it. Look how beautiful this is. So look at the 50%. Mm -hmm. So it's literally the wick oh, right there. Yeah literally right there. So it's like, yo, I mean, anywhere inside of this candle, right, is going to be super key. Mm -hmm. Right, we're talking still just even a 36 pip stop here to target the lows. And you're out of five to one. Yeah, wow, well, that's nice. So, so let's, you know, but let's keep getting 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 after it, right? Is our is our tar you know is our sell target you know up there it is but you know again you don't really want to be you know this is a, this is a riskier buy you know what I mean to mm -hmm. buy this imbalance up but if we want to think bullish on the pound to start the week you know what I mean so yeah, yeah, yeah. take this with a stop below the low but since we are bearish. What we wait for, right, is just price action to tr trickle up here. See what it, go to the 15 ones. So let's look, let's look down here first. Because See, didn't that, it looked like it made the, the candle right there. The what candle? candle. And it's an IC candle, they, they took out the low and then made that huge bullish candle up. Right here? On the top, up here, up up in the middle of the range. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we initially, you know, we're kind of rejecting off of this institutional, right? That's why. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Right? If people were looking at this institutional candle for a sell, you know, what did it show people initially? It showed them that rejection. But we mm -hmm. didn't see money get back behind the move. We just saw them slowly trade up and through it. Mm -hmm. 
ultimately creating equal highs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So again, could we move down? Is there, yes, is there any form of nice and balanced play? No, not really. Would I take a buy? Probably not. You know what I mean? But we could wait, right, to come maybe blow through this and come trade up in here. Yeah. And ultimately, again, if you want the lowest, you know, risk to reward, you know, you would just, you know, enter here, you know, enter here, you know what yeah, I mean? Whatever, yeah, that, whatever yeah, it may yeah. be. So but lower that, time frame, it's got to move down. But did we look at the daily and, and see from a daily perspective that once it moves down, it could be moving back up to mitigate. It's got to go down anyway to get back to that area. Yeah, exactly. So it's like we would pretty much sell this down to this imbalance or this down here. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because ultimately I want to see I want to see this get played into. Cause again, like this is clean. You know what I mean? Like here's an up candle that took liquidity. You had your fast down move and you had a deep wick retracement back into the 50% of this candle. So if we wanted to come retrace back into this wick to continue down, we could do so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. Yes, sir. That's GA. That thing Everything's, uh, nothing opened up too crazy. So the same thing on, on Euro, all the USD pairs pretty much should do the same thing. Look at the pound, it's already moving up. Going right to the 3080. It's going right like a bat out of hell. <laughs> and gold, gold, if I, I wasn't watching gold on its open, but look at this. I actually think it's cleaner on my broker. What time is this? What is today? Today's the ninth, right? Perfect. Look at this. Right, we had these lows and we had this. Where'd the market open? Market opened right here. Market opens here, right near these highs. Mm -hmm. Falls all the way down the first 20 minutes, right? And, you know, you could literally just find one of those last areas of imbalance have your buy sitting there for the market to retrace back into have a stop right here below 2015 right or even below this low man I, i'm honestly upset i wasn't paying attention because i mean mm -hmm. you know re re in reality right market already dropped off this heavy stop at 2017 you know if you take anything near this imbalance right around 2020 you know what i mean we saw a fast rejection away and now we're going to trade back up into the open of it um and now it's just it was kind of clean i'm trying to look for the institutional candle right i the market came a little bit deeper on my broker so mm -hmm. i actually got like a test on the open of that institutional but not mm -hmm. quite not quite mm -hmm. on this broker mm -hmm. and now what are we doing you know coming back up into the up candle <laughs> Um, yeah, if those are already taken off, you know, actually too, I think it's a Japanese holiday. Oh, is it Labor Day for us too? Monday? I'm not sure. It doesn't tell me. Bank holiday on Japan, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I heard it on the on the TV today, and I thought, no, oh, we were talking about EU. Yeah, kind of the same. I'm still looking at this. This could still be very, honestly, very clean, especially if we keep 
Oh, we haven't really, we did look at the dollar. Um, strong dollar, weak dollar, facts. Yeah, I am like in this area, we had a low, we had a higher low, we had this mitigation test, right? So we could just play this imbalance. We'll see what's up. But yeah, we got that similar, this is that, this is that NFP buy to sell candle. Mm. It looks like if it goes up into there, it could be a sell down into that. And then yeah, down into this, run in here. But yes, sir. Does that sound, all that sounds pretty lit? UCAD, what's going on here? Did you sell that last week or something? I knew you had something up about the imbalance. Um, I didn't end it up. I'm trying to remember what this is even from. I don't even know what this is from. Um, I did, so I, I bought it actually on, on NFP. What we were looking at, right? So this was the hour before NFP. Mm -hmm. So what we were looking at was we had this institutional buy to the fast sell-off. We had the imbalance right here. Yeah, that was the imbalance you marked. I saw right. Marked. So we understand that we're throwing a stop up over the high, which ultimately was at 34.20. Now it just depends on where you want to enter. Do you want to enter at the 50%, which is 88, right? Or what I was looking at was 3,400 because I would like to risk 20 pips, especially entering off the whole level, right? So I was really looking, because again, weak dollar, that's what, or we were looking yeah. for strong dollar for NFP for the most right. part. Yeah. So I was seeing if we could get a sell position in here. Now, right before it happened, I had also said, well, even though everything has already been retraced back into, there is one area of imbalance for us to keep an eye on, and it's right here. Mm -hmm. All right. And then again, something also very powerful is the fact that, you know, we have such equal highs right here. to open up the imbalance, right? So this is what we were looking at. So I'm gonna go down to a 15 minute time frame, right? We don't really need to reprice anything in here. I've already set my parameters and we are bullish on the dollar, but as we know, they like to manipulate before NFP or before, you know, with anything that they do. Um, yeah. So we have this hour imbalance marked off we have equal lows of money. Mm -hmm. Pretty clear. And we technically have a down candle right here. So really just watching all of this um, and seeing how the market wanted to play out and what we saw was before 8.30, this is eight o'clock. This was 8.15, so what are they doing? They're coming down to equal out, right? This pool of liquidity, or just, you know, hit it again. But what we saw was them trade below the liquidity into mm -hmm. the imbalance, right? Into the institutional candle, stop up under the institutional candle, That was right before it. So this was on, I, I should go down to the five minute uh, for you. No, this was right when it hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and let me actually go back one candle, right? So right before the 830 employment numbers, right? What we could be looking at is either wait for come up here for a, a sell, or if we were to drive down into 3333, yo, I'll take a 15 pip stop to target 3,400. Mm -hmm. risk 15 to make 70. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All day. So check this. Now, as we go down to the five minute, 
All right, I'm going to delete the 15 minute imbalance, but I'm going to leave the price of 33.33 up. That's the 50% of it. Mm -hmm. Now we want to look at this, right? That last sell to buy action. We actually see, you know, kind of some new imbalance right here, right? But overall, look how the 50% of this imbalance matches up with pretty much the open of this sell mm -hmm. open. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, Watch what they do as they drop the news. So it's funny because, right, that's 820. Right, they show that buying, they're getting all the buyers in. You know what I mean? In classic, yeah. right, everybody trying to buy the strong dollar is going to get stopped out by 15, 20 pips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so watch what they do. They pull price back down into the 50% of the hour of the hour imbalance mm -hmm. comes down into pretty much the wicks of the other one and what they do. And it wasn't the cleanest, but it still played. They literally equaled them out and came. Oh, I fudged it up. <laughs> Give me one second. But overall, Oh, then it just took off. Yeah, so it, it made kind of that little pool of money above the open. But again, if you're entering anywhere from 333, your stop's at 18. Yeah. It came down a little bit more just to pierce that 3226 mm -hmm. to play into the institutional downs. Oh, mm -hmm. I messed up. But, and then it absolutely just took off. Yeah. Wow. I traded yeah. right into the equal highs. Now, watch this. So I actually took this buy position, right? Oh, good, so good. we took this and then, you know, again, the sell is up to you. I mean, this was already core New York move, but watch what happens, right? What happens when we get to the price of 33.88? We start seeing that rejection and it actually gives us that move down. Uh huh. And then goes ahead and kind of trades through it and then ultimately gets up to 3,400 and rejects 3,400. And then we just consolidate in that zone because it's obviously a very major zone. End of the day, where did you get out of that? Um, I pulled out at 3,388. I think I pulled out above these highs and then pulled out right up right when we got up here. Um, that was a good trade though, man. No, nah, she was, yeah, she was beautiful. We actually, we were live for it too, which made it even better. Um, yeah, oh yeah, that would be fun. But it was this was like this was so clean. Like this was this was clean, clean to watch play out. Because again, mm -hmm. it played both areas we were looking for, right? What do we see? That sell, drive into the imbalance, buy, right? It was mm -hmm. like perfect. And then right back into that. Yeah, no, that was nice. And then that, right back. That, that was that was good. So you had your pending order sitting there. Now, or so you again, did like a, you did, a, you did yeah, a buy not a pending, a, not a pending order, but I was waiting. I was waiting for price a market order. Yeah, yeah. So it's like even here again, it wasn't the cleanest, but it did the job. It was low risk, though. Yeah, super low risk, right? What happens? We move into area, we hang out, right? We make kind of those equal low wicks. We hang out, we hang out. Nothing closes below the thirty-two twenty-six, right? Mm -hmm. no closes below we finally see a small evidence up and even if you don't get in on this evidence right i mean yeah, what are they doing works. they're pulling it back to structure mm -hmm. right they're pulling it back to structure so good stuff good stuff colton all yes, right dude fun. i'm gonna roll man yes uh, sir thank you so much dude i appreciate you so much dude you, you you're helping me a lot no, like bro, it. you're helping me too, bro. I, I literally like, I'm so grateful for this journey, man. Like we, yeah, you know, no, I am too. It's, it's both it's coming really from different. two different sides of knowledge and putting it together. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's really, really cool. And I, uh, uh, yeah, it's changing my whole, it, it's just changed everything. It's, uh, I'm, and for you to take the time to sit with me I, is what I mean. I appreciate it. No, nah, um, absolutely, brother. That's what I'm here for. Um, I actually hit, the record button uh pretty early on when we were in here marking up the monthly i could sue you i uh 
I, <laughs> I might, I might, if you're, if you're okay with it, I might yeah, drop I'm, it on YouTube. No um, problem. I think it would be super cool. Um, just as like to switch it up. I mean, it's an hour and a half, so it's long, but I think people watching us break down GU from that monthly all the way. Yeah. Down, oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, I think it could be totally. super helpful. So I'll probably upload this just because it was such a powerful session. Very cool. Very cool, man. I'm all about it. Awesome. Um, I and send me. Uh, okay. So what do I do in the morning? I look for your link. You're getting on a lot. You're doing live things. Yep. So I'll, tr I'll, uh, I'll drop a zoom link in the morning. Um, and, that's just, and, and I just hit on there like we do here and I'll be on. Yep. And we'll, and we'll, and we'll be wa just watching the markets, you know, in the morning, seeing, uh, you know, seeing what's setting up for New York. Very cool. Very cool.